last episode, we said that we were going to go on a cruise. I want to take you on another honeymoon. Redo our honeymoon. And guess what? We've only gone on Plymouth. We're on a cruise! Hey guys, now before we start the episode, I just wanted to ask um, a big favour. Um, it makes a huge, huge, huge difference to us. I can't even explain the difference to us if you subscribe to the show. If you're watching this on YouTube, just click the subscribe button. It doesn't take any time to do it and it's completely free. So if you could possibly do that one thing for us, it'd be absolutely amazing. And sorry to sound beggy. Thank you so, so much. We really appreciate it. Okay, enjoy the episode. All right, most podcasts just stay in a room. And most podcasts just stay on a sofa. Most podcasts don't even get out of a studio. Most podcasts don't even have a studio name. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean? Where do they record then? There's loads of podcasts don't have a studio. I recorded with Wednesdays yeah. in my kitchen for a year. Our kitchen. In, in our kitchen for a year. Mm-hmm. Those I, were the days. Those were the bloody days. Okay, so I don't know if you remember this, but if you were listening, <laughs> you may have amnesia if you don't remember this, but last episode... We said that we were going to go on a cruise. And guess what? We've only gone on... We're on a cruise! <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. We're on a cruise. Yeah. I, can't, I can't say cruise normally. We'll say it. We're on a cruise. We're on a cruise. So, uh, if you listened to the last episode, as I said, I wanted to take Sophie on a cruise. Basically, guys, I wanted to take Sophie on a little surprise. I thought it'd be really fun to do something different. Um, and the wonderful guys at P&O Cruises said, why don't you come on a cruise? And I was like, that sounds unbelievable. So we actually did it. We flew to Barbados from Heathrow. We got on a cruise and now we're currently in the Dominican Republic. We're in, the, we're in Punta Cana. Yeah, we're in, where we had we've, our been, we've been in Bridgetown. No, we flew to Bridgetown. And it's raining. No, it's not raining. <laughs> the sun is coming out. It's been amazing weather. It's been amazing weather, but the last time we came to Punta Cana on our honeymoon, it rained then, no, and we're back again, it's now raining yeah, again. Yeah, but the last time we came to Punta Cana, the sea, you couldn't go in the sea, there was red tape all over it because there was an infestation of seaweed. So we're, we're moving, we're getting up in the world because it's sea and we're in it, and I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sophie also, Sophie's had um, uh, only, only a, a, a minor uh, issue with me this morning. It's only a minor issue. Firstly, Sophie likes her coffee in the morning. And I went, and I never make a coffee. And she was like, can Five you... Five years you've never made me a coffee. Yeah, she's like, can you make me coffee? So I went to the little coffee machine that we have in the room. And I put the stupid little pod in the freaking coffee machine. And it says like, Lunga, or the little cup. It doesn't say that that's what it says on our one at home. Okay. That's good that you've been practicing. Whatever it says. And I pressed it, didn't work. And... Then I went to open the top of it to get the pot out. Can't open the top of it. Broken it. <laughs> Broken the whole coffee You're machine. You're going to have to pay for that. So then I was like, don't worry, I'll be the good husband that I am. So I went all the way. Now this boat is big, guys. It is huge. I went all the way. Chop, 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 chop. Jog, 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 jog. Half ran it all the way to go and get you another coffee. You half ran it? You were about an hour. It's a long boat. It's huge, this boat. It's not that big. It is. It is a huge ship. It's a huge ship. It's like, it's 200 meters. It's basically a city floating on the water. Anyway, I ran all the way to go and get your coffee. Lovely, met the lovely man who works there. Say hi to him all the time. Got, What's his name? Uh, Simon. It's not, I don't know his name. But I'm going to give his name as Simon. I haven't asked, okay. he didn't ask my name. Okay. He calls me Sophie, actually, because I always have your coffee. Everyone calls me Sophie. Like, I know that's my name, but like, no one said your name. Which is very weird. Like, people are knowing that my name's Sophie on this boat. I think that's because they're scared of me. I think it's because the room said Sophie and Co on. Oh, maybe that's why. Yeah, every morning, hello, Sophie. Never hello, Jamie. Anyway, I went, tru, 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 went and got Sophie her coffee. Can I have a coffee? Thank you so much. In the takeaway cup, ran all the way back to the room, opened the door. Here's your savior to give you your coffee. Hand her the coffee. You chugged it. And what did have in it? I spat it out because it was pure milk and I've not drank milk since I was 20. I'm now 29. 
you gave me milk. <laughs> it's I find milk. Milk is the most disgusting flavor in the world to me. <laughs> There's no worse flavor. So I broke a coffee machine and I gave her milk. And, and so then you screamed at me. And you told me to get your coffee, black coffee. No, what I said was... And you cry because you don't know... You've never had a coffee, so you don't know what a coffee is. Like, you're 35. Learn what a coffee is. Get cross at the Try big... Try one. Get cross at the big things. Don't need to get cross at the small things. The small things. Listen, if you pick up the pennies, if you look after the pennies, the pounds keep take care of themselves. Okay. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means well, That either. means if you, that's about change. Like, that's about saving money. Yeah, that I get that. So... I just think you need to get cross at the big things. Okay, I didn't things. get cross. I just spat it out, but I'm going to spit it out because I don't drink milk and it was a shock to the system to taste that creamy, creamy uh, milk in my mouth. I've worked out that I'm actually probably the greatest husband to ever Oh exist. my God. You, whoa, the boat. I feel like it's still moving. We need to find a nice place to record. So if you hear some background noises, that is because we're currently in uh, a, a restaurant that's not being used because we wanted to find a great place to record. But I tell you what, this trip has been amazing. So Sophie, shall we get into it? Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Newlyweds Abroad. Newlyweds The The Cruise. Newlyweds The Ship. With P&O Cruises. There we go. Let's go. Do you think there's just going to be a bunch of single people bet, on the yeah. cruise? On a cruise? No, there's not going to be single people on the cruise, no way. I've got really bad skin and red, 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 red face. I don't know what we're going to do about this in this cruise. So we been to... Um... TikTok crime. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. My algorithm is Crazy Auntie Jane, who's like this six-year-old woman who like does weird tricks. She's like, yeah. And then I have TikTok crime, and then I have two old people who do dances together. Oh, I love those guys, and they yeah. vlog it. They've just been on a cruise as well. They've been on a cruise. They've been on a cruise and vlogged it as well. We're about to get on our flight. Probably can't record on the flight, but we're going to catch some contact. And we're um, going to land. It's an eight-hour flight. Lovely little time. It's nine and a half hours. It's nine and a half hour flight. All the way to Bridgetown, Barbados. Gate 32, if anyone is interested. We're going to... We're gonna have a great time. We have to do the the TikTok about you oh, going on the cruise. cruise. We have to do it. Okay. When we're on the flight though, when we're on the flight and then we can do it. We really wanna go on a cruise. Wish and then we can just change cruise. it. So we are currently at Heathrow Airport. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. We're about to get our flight to Barbados. We're going on our cruise, our PO cruise. We're doing a seven day trip to Barbados, Antigua, another island in the Caribbean. I'm not too totally sure what. It's gonna be freaking fantastic. Sophie's excited. I'm excited, give me a bit of sun. She's excited. The team is coming. We've got Jemima. And behind the camera right now is Jamie G. Jamie Gilbert, it's his birthday. He's 49 years old and he's really <laughs> excited. You guys are coming on the cruise with us. So we're going to be having dinners, we're going to be doing games, we're going to be doing snorkeling, we're going to be doing catamaran. Basically our honeymoon 2.0 but on a cruise in the Caribbean. Let's go. Have you seen how big this cruise is unbelievable. It's, do you reckon this is as big as the Titanic? Yes. It's the biggest thing I've ever seen. Honey, do you know where we are in the world at the moment? I know exactly where we are. Where are we? We are northeast of um, Petacana. Northeast of it? Yeah. How the hell on earth do you know that? Because you put your finger up when you're outside and wherever the wind blows, then you can work it out that way. I'm absolutely gosmacked. No, <laughs> that is you? not true. Yes, it is true. How did you not know that? Are you a human compass? What was yes, going... I am. So hang on a second. I learned it at Duke of Edinburgh at school. So. 
hang on a second. So the you way go, you, the way yes, you, so you, you uh, sometimes you can lick your finger just to get a little bit more of um, you can feel the wind blowing on like the dampness of your finger. It's yeah, it's a really clever way of doing it. So you lick your finger. Yeah, and you put it up into there. Yeah, and the wind will blow, and then you can work out according to that where you are in the world. Why? Because the wind always blows from. The wind will blow from a direction, and then you just work it out. <laughs> I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm really hoping this is right. Yeah, it's t- completely nothing. Where true. does the wind always blow from? It blows from a way the current shows you which way the wind is blowing, and then you know which way you're you're facing. What the hell? The Sorry. wind is blowing from a, a certain point, and then you'll work it out. So the wind blows from the north. I could do, or it could blow from the south. So if you go, you go outside, you wet your finger, yeah, yeah. wherever the wind lands on your finger... You can work it out. <laughs> I, I, don't, okay, I understand. Just so I get this. I understand. You can work it out. You can get your Google up and you can think it came from the left of me. I'm sure it'll tell you where you're coming from. But I know we're northeast of Punta Cana. But hang on a second. I, I, I don't know where we are. So hang on, hang on a second. I'm going to get a compass up on my phone right now. Okay, here we go. Here's a yeah, comp- get it up on your phone and okay. see where we are. I'm, I'm going to get a compass up on my phone. Compass. I feel like we're definitely going... Okay, just so I understand. West. Wh- which way do you think north is? North is down and south is up. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Delete, delete. No, I no. don't know what we're deleting. <laughs> I'm honestly confused. So north is down and south is up. Okay. Oh, no, there's a man. Should okay. we get him tea? <laughs> Wait, hang on. North is where? I don't know. North is... I don't know. Where is north? It, just guess. Point. It could be anywhere, depending <laughs> on where we are, right? What? I mean, yeah, depending where we are, could be anywhere. Yeah. But it's not up. <laughs> I didn't say it was up. You did. You said so- oh, north is down and south is up. North is up and south is down, right? <laughs> on, a, on a picture of a compass? Yeah, yes. on a picture of a compass. But then depending where you are, it can be anywhere. Yes, but it's, in the, it's not up. That's... Well, it could be that way, and it could be that way. I don't know where we are. Yeah, but if you had to, okay, we're in survive. Okay, we're, we're stranded. I don't know. So we're you s- tell me. You tell me where we I'm are. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. North is that way. Okay, north is that way. North is that way. Yep, and south is that way. So, and, and we're he- and north is that way. So we're heading. We're heading northwest at the moment. Are we, is the ship facing that way? Because I have no idea where I am on the ship. It's so big. The ship is facing that way. So we're going northwest. So we're at the going northwest. So I'm right. Yeah, I think you said northeast. Oh, wait, I did. But okay. that's f- unbelievable. Do you know what this boat is called? It's called Avia. It's amazing, right? It's unbelievable. Nicole Scherzinger named it. And Nicole Scherzinger named it. She's the godmother. Of the ship? Yeah. Um, quick question. If you were going to have a ship, mm. what would you call it? I would call it Sophie. Mm-hmm. What would you call yours? What if the ship was for me? You were making the ship for me. I would call it Sophie, so you could always know that I was with you when you were sailing around on that ship. Okay, fine. If I I would call mine Armageddon, I think. Wow. If I had a ship. Really? Yeah, hundred percent. I've never seen Armageddon. The movie. No. Okay, but I still call it Armageddon. Okay, that's a great name. By the way, th- this is this is how wild. I d- okay, anyone who's listening who hasn't been on a cruise before, right? Okay, there is everything that you want. There is shops. There's a golf course. There's a putt putt golf course. There is a swimming pool inside, and there's a swimming pool outside. Well, there's little jacuzzi things outside. It's, it's there, mental. There's a swimming pool inside. There's a jacuzzi's outside. There's shows coming out of your ears. We, I Everywhere went, you look, there's a show. Producer Jemima and I went to a West End, pretty much a West End show last night. And how good was it? F- unbelievable. Jamie came through the door and he was like, "You need to wake up. It was so good." And <laughs> I, I was like, "No." I I did actually whisper that to you yeah. that is very true and there's just so many more things what other things are there oh, you can get your hair cut your nails done massages facials acupuncture it's unbelievable and then also what happens Botox you're going to be booking into there at some point <laughs> I I no I wouldn't there's Botox and filler by the way I, I, I see your little eyes light up there I know you keep saying this and people think I have I haven't had Botox I had Botox once so Sorry. I, I, I had, Sorry. So, raise those eyebrows. There you go. Look, exactly. That's not a raise. Yeah, it is. And I can frown. So yeah, the, uh, the more you say that I've had Botox, the more people are going to believe it. It's just not true. Uh, you really don't want it to be true. But it's not true. Oh, no, it's not true. No, I don't know. You, but, but that one time you did have two Botox in one day. Do you remember that? <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You went to one Botox doctor <laughs> and another Botox doctor and you were too embarrassed. Why to would tell I go to two? 
I don't know. I like, would. That's just nonsense. Because you have an uh, obsession with Botox. Botox. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, but it's okay because it's preventative, honey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, there is okay. Botox here if you want to get Botox. There is Botox. You can get your nails done. You can get your nails done, which is incredible. Um, and also, we every day what we do is so lovely. We You travel to different places, and we go up to this little place on the boat, which is called The Retreat. Unbelievable. And we had this amazing, um, I'm not even kidding, I had this like little noodle dish, which was phenomenal up there. And <laughs> I think sometimes with you, which is the best thing about in the world, that you're oblivious to other people, because you were walking down towards me and you were just walking towards me slapping your bum <laughs> like this <laughs> slapping your bum at me and the lovely waiter was just w- standing behind you as I you were slapping know, your bum I at me I feel really embarrassed about that you I did go and apologise to him the, the staff are I will say that's one of the best things about the cruise the staff are unbelievable unbelievable like so kind so nice so attentive that's been one of my highlights yeah okay so when you were a kid mm. what holidays did you go on so weirdly my dad used to take us, we used to go on a catamaran, we'd fly to Antigua, I think it was, or Tortola, and then we'd all sail around the BVIs, British Virgin Islands, which is where we were, were yesterday. So you basically, so you've done all of this before? But I did it on a catamaran, and <laughs> that was very different to this big, big, big ship, and my dad was sailing, so you can imagine <laughs> that was quite stressful, and actually we used to go with other families. Your dad was sailing? My dad's a skipper, yeah. And you guys, you in Georgia? We were really helpful, as you can imagine. <laughs> what did you there do? There was once a storm, and I honestly, I honestly think my dad wanted to punch me. He wanted to put me overboard. He was like, move! And we both just like, <laughs> like running under. We were useless. But so, but then we used to go with three other families, and I remember once so vividly, the other families didn't, their dads couldn't sell, or the mum or whatever. No one could sell, so they'd get a skipper. Yeah. And I remember like going on the rib to their boat when we'd like docked up, whatever you call it, anchored down. <laughs> and I would like cl- clambering onto their, their boat. And I'm like 14 at this time. And the skipper, oh my God, what was his name? The skipper's there. Yeah. He's got his towel on him. He's got one leg on the side of the boat and he's looking down and I'm coming up the stairs. Yeah. And one leg is up on the side of the boat. Yeah. He had no pants on. <laughs> And I will never, he just would walk around with a towel on and I was like, <gasps> I know, never, I honestly, I mean, it's ingrained in my brain to that happen, yeah. Oh my God, that I don't know why, that, we, I went on a boat when I was a kid as well. Did you? Yeah, that's why I kind of feel like home on boats for some reason, really? on ships. On ships? Not on ships, because we went on a boat, this is a ship, but okay, on boats. Okay, what was your boat experience? We, I went, it's the first time I ever kissed a girl. Oh God, I've heard about this. Honestly, you tell me the story at 24 seven. You joke, I've never told you. I kissed a girl older than me when I was like four years old. (laughs) I was 11 years old actually. And And she was 15 and you think I'm gonna believe that? She wasn't 15, she was 13 I think, but she was older than me, yeah. That's still like just not believable because me at 13, an 11 year old was a child, like a baby. I'd literally be like, shall I put you in the pram? No. Mum and dad with you. We were on a boat. Like 13, you've got like boobs at that point. Okay, great. Well, I, 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 eleven year old, you're a shrimp cruising around. I'm not kidding. When I was eleven years old, we were on a boat. Call in her out. Let's see. I don't. I don't have her number. I think I know her name. Well, I know you can't. Okay, I don't know. Her name. I guess I know. Well, I know the story, and I'm sure the listeners do because you. you I haven't said it before. Yes, you have. But no, go on. I was on a boat, and I was young. I was eleven years old, and we played truth or dare, and we kissed, and then we snogged on the boat. You and kissed, was... and then you snogged on the boat. Yeah, we kissed, and then we snogged so on the boat. A, so a thirteen-year-old. Yeah. And. Uh, and I was I'm eleven. I'm just guessing, but yeah. I doubt you were that tall for your age. <laughs> I, I was. Uh, oh, oh, really? I was. Can I tell you what happened on the boat? Yeah, go on. Okay. They all went round and they said, okay, we they rated the boys. There was me and my brother and a couple sure, of boys. Oh, that old chest. They did. They rated the boys. And the girl that I snogged, she rated the boys. She said, oh, you're probably like an eight out of ten. You're probably, she said, you're, Jamie, is a, you're a ten out of ten. There's nothing I'd change about you. <laughs> <laughs> Not even kidding. <laughs> to 11-year-old Jamie when yeah. she is four years older than you. Two years older. I was a stud. You, you were sh- surely quite petite and small. No, I you? was like really much. I had like a six pack. Okay. Yeah. And so you kissed this older lady. Uh huh. And what happened? That that was it. We were just you, kissed on the boat. And then you said, when I did left you the- ask her to kiss her? Because that was quite the vibe at that age. No, we just snogged. Yeah, we did ask. Well, set the scene for us. Okay, we're on a boat. 
in Turkey and it was like a big wooden boat. Who, and how many people are on the boat? Uh, about 12 of us, maybe 15. Where's everyone else when you're about to smooch? Uh, all the parents are sleeping downstairs in the cabins and all the kids were on the deck. Doing what? Snogging. Snogging with your family friends? <laughs> like your cousin? <laughs> Not my cousin, my brother was there. Who was Alexander snogging? Same girl. And we all snogged. Wait, 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 <laughs> hang on a second. So you're playing tr- spin the bottle or like snog kiss chase? Yeah, like snog. You didn't, you didn't snog yeah, I did. an 11 year old. Your brother just kissed her and she was like, oh, done with that one. I'll practice <laughs> kissing on the next one. No, you come over here, no, 11 year old. No, she took advantage of you. No, because then we went to the end of the back of the boat and I was like. And did what? And I was like, 11. and I was like, what's that? And she was like, not much. And I was like, crazy night, right? <laughs> and and she, she was like, where's your older brother, you little shrimp? She wasn't. She was like, I find you really sexy. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, she did. She let said that to me. You, she said that you, to me. Let me tell you, when you're 13, you're trying to practice how to kiss because you've never done it before. Mm-hmm. And you were just you were just in the way. And she thought, oh, I'll use that. So many things happened to me when I was younger. Okay, go on. I remember else? I remember I went to Club Med. I went to Club Med. Another boat? Is that not mm, a cruise? No, it was it's like a, an, an event a, like a thing where people a go. Resort. It's a resort. I must have been about I reckon I was eight years old. Yeah, and D- don't even try and tell me you kissed someone at eight. I didn't kiss anyone at eight. Five. This is actually this is I'm not. I totally flashback. This is one of the scariest moments of my entire okay, life. Come on. Okay, we were. We, it was a resort with loads of different kids, mm. and the older kids asked me to go and steal a bottle of wine. And I was eight years old. They must have been twelve, eleven. So I went and stole a bottle of wine. Okay, put it under my jumper and ran out of the restaurant. Yeah. And we went round the corner. We and they drank it. I didn't drink it, I actually didn't at the age, but they, they drank it by, by banging the cork down into the wine and they were drinking the oh, wine. Yeah. They all got like drunk and we went to like the nightclub. The nightclub must have been like six, seven in the evening or whatever it was. Mm. And I was dancing on the dance floor, like this, having a great time. And my mum, Penny, came in in her nighty, <laughs> <laughs> came in her nighty and dragged me off the dance floor in front of everyone. Oh my god, little eight-year-old. Dragged me off the, the dance floor. The pure, like that was the worst moment of your life. You are so uncool then. It was the most traumatizing Especially that's ever happened to me. Twelve-year-olds. It's the most traumatizing that's ever happened to me in my entire ever life. Ever happened to you? I actually think it is. I've just. You've w- had a really nice life. If that's the most traumatizing. Yeah, you're very, happened. very right. But that is that's really painful. Because Sophie's having a little nap, what I would thought I would do is take you on a little tour of the ship. There's 19 different floors. There's 30 different restaurants. There's so much going on. So I'm going to take you on about a quick two minute, maybe three minute little tour of the whole ship. Let's go. Do you want to take the lift or do you want to take the stairs? Let's take the lift. Let's start. Okay. Guess how many restaurants it has. There are 30 different restaurants on the whole ship, which is incredible. You have the infinity pool and bar out that way. There's a lot of people sunbathing. We don't want to, we don't want to annoy them. They're on their holiday. So we're just going to go back down. Check it out, but look, water fountains, wherever you go. So, like, no pla- plastic bottles, we don't want those. We want to have refilling things to save the planet. How amazing is that? So, just a little tour for you. By the way, as I said, everyone knows me here, so probably get a lot of people stopping me. Hey, Jamie, how's the trip going? Hey, man, how are you? Yeah, I There you go, told you. Okay, the Olive Grove, this is delicious. You get, uh, get a, hey, a little tip for you, a lovely lasagna in there. Got rum tasting, okay, a little rum thing over here, gin tasting as well. Not only that, an immersive experience, mission control. This is on the ship, this is all on the ship. Also, by the way, if you like shopping, load of shops on the ship, load of shops, including Swoski, 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 handbags, Get handbags on here, get creams, perfumes, bags, diamonds, lab-grown diamonds, watches. You know, even if you get, hey, you forget your headphones, don't worry, they have an electronic store on the ship. Have a little view of that upstairs, it's gone. Put the camera. Come up with me, here we go. Come up, have a glass house over here. 40, uh, yeah, 40 different wines. 40, name 40 for me right now. Chardonnay, Chablis, that's all I've got from here. There's a vegan restaurant here called Green & Co. Does the most delicious nachos, it's unbelievable. Delicious vegan food. Now, 
hey, I don't know if you're a vegan fan, you should try it out, it's unbelievable. So as I said, I could take you around so too many different places, There'll be, there's so much going on. You've got movie theatres, you've got casinos, you've got a theatre experience, you've got bars, you've got swimming pools, you've got bars next to the swimming pools, you've got jacuzzis, you've got sun lounges, you've got a, a spa. You haven't even seen the spa. You've got shops. You've got everything you want. So pick up that phone, give me a call, and I'll say, how do you have this number? <laughs> We had so much fun. I hope you enjoyed the little tour of the, the whole ship. It's been incredible. This is deck seven at the moment. The whole episode is going to be amazing. And it piano cruises. Mwah, chef's kiss. I've also got a secret to tell you. What? I haven't told you this yet. Oh, God, what? I haven't told you this. What? I hope you're not going to be annoyed. So on this ship, it's amazing. You have the gym. You have entertainment. I'm so upset. You have restaurants. What? You have absolutely everything. I feel unwell. Okay, do you remember that time when you asked me where I was? And you said you're watching, and I said, you said, are you watching the football? And I said, yes. Oh, uh, you're hideous. What have you been doing? I wasn't watching the football. You were, what? I was in the casino. For how long? And I lost $400 in the casino in the space of five minutes. <laughs> Are you joking? You look really scary right now. What's I know. happening to It you? really upset me. Are it really upset that? me. In the broad daylight, you went down to the casino. I was the only one there. <laughs> Sorry. That's gross. I'm really sorry. You're I, gross. I got excited about it. And also, it. just for someone who won't let me order a Zap, because you think I'm spending too much money on ordering some apples from Zap, you just threw $400 down the table. $400. I, I couldn't believe You're it happened. You're sick. I couldn't Every believe it happened. Is. But listen, it doesn't matter because it's all fun and games at the end of the day. It's all fun and games. You know what? You what? can win it back. How? Well, don't, because that's how you get into gambling and become a gambling addict, <laughs> and we don't want that. Also, what's amazing about the ship is there's like so many love stories going <gasps> on. There's so many. I really love that. Firstly, I find the people watching so incredible. Yeah. Everyone here is so friendly. They're like, hello, hello. We all feel like this little community. Correct. Everyone's holding hands. They get dressed up in the evening. It feels. We, we wore black we, tie last we night. We fit in. Yeah. We're in love. They're in love. And there are so many amazing couples, which is incredible. There's also, which is so lovely is there is a solo group so if you've come on the cruise by yourself you can go and meet up with other solo people and have a wonderful time and do you know what's even you more amazing do you know what's even more what? amazing there's a couple that met on the cruise last year no way they fell in love and they're now back on the cruise <gasps> this year and we're going to try and get them on the show that is so sweet yeah so in the name of love because Love is Amazing, producer Jemima went out and spoke to lots of people on the cruise about their love stories. Here it is. Hello. Hello. Are you guys a couple? We are, yes. Um, how did you meet? Hell, we meet. I was at his dad's house um, on New Year's Eve and um, he wasn't there at the time, but his dad had a video recorder and saw me on the video and in the january he put the video on um, asked who that girl was on there rang me up um, i'd never seen him he was a blind date and we've been married for 37 years and what's your favorite thing it's his teeth <laughs> he had nice teeth yeah his and teeth what's your favorite thing about her? she's got a nice face <laughs> well my name's dawn my name's alan are you a couple? Yes. We are a couple, yeah. Yep. And where did you meet? We met in Manchester in 1983. On Valentine's Day. He took my number on the first night and... Guys! History, yeah. Known him since he was 17. And we've been married 35 years <gasps> this year. Wow, congrats. And how did you propose? I actually don't think I did. I thought it was. I think it was just a natural thing, a sort of natural agreement. I mean, I got a ring and everything, obviously, didn't I? Yeah, we, we went we, to the... It wasn't a conventional down on one knee job. Dropped the ring in the, what, the glass. By Probably, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just so sportive. It's kind and. She's always there. <laughs> Guys, always I there. can't. Go. Always there for me. That's sportive. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's and it. what are your names? John and Wendy. Wendy. I've known my good lady for the past I mean, 30 years because she was my next door neighbour. Two, two, two houses. Two. Well, it was, no, it was, it we both divorces. Like both divorces, yeah. Ah, yeah. So we knew for all, knew each other for a long time. Yeah. And then we were on our own yeah. and we had a drink together occasionally. 
grew from there. But it's very good company. It's good company and we, we can have a laugh together. And what's your favourite thing about her? <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> we have in common is we, we, we're fun-loving. So we first met at Bracknell. We were both in the Royal Air Force. You went to ask me if I would run a half marathon. And so I said, yes, I would. And that was it. And then several weeks later, you asked... Oh, no, we went skiing, actually. That's right. You invited me to go skiing. And then we ran a half marathon. And then you proposed and we got married several weeks later. <laughs> How long between asking about half marathon and less, than, less than, than nine months? months. No children Love involved. Wow. <laughs> um, Favourite thing about my husband, he's always been good at sport, so he's a big good skier and he's a good golfer. She's a great cook. <laughs> <laughs> You've never said that to me before, ever. <laughs> so thanks for the podcast. <laughs> You guys a couple? We, we are, are, yes. How did you meet? Um, Anthony's sister set us up on a blind date. On a blind date. date. So it, we, no, it, we just went for a meal with a group of friends, but like 25 years later, still together. Yeah. Two oh, kids, yeah. 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 And are you married? No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Engaged for <laughs> a very long should, should time. Should we say that really, but no, we're not. Yeah. No, not yet. Yeah. No. It's on the plans. Has been for been many years. Been saying for 20 years, but yeah, yeah, you know, we will eventually. What is your favourite thing about him? About Jamie. Funny. Oh, no, no. Oh, me? Oh, sorry, sorry. She's sorry. She. <laughs> about she about other men. He's, he's funny as well. Honestly. <laughs> he's funny as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's and my favourite thing. Is, yeah, it's humour. Sorry. <laughs> and what's your favourite thing about her? She's gorgeous. <laughs> that's all. Uh, and <laughs> what's the secret to a happy relationship? Having a laugh. Yeah. Just having Don't a laugh, doing things, things together, do, we do everything together, together. Yeah. we work yeah. together, we play together, so yeah. Amazing. And what are your names? Lindsay. Anthony. Heaven. That is so good. For me, I can't go. That's that done me in. That's done me in. I want to go and find more. Can I just ask, so if you were asked the same question, okay, so pretend you're a complete stranger, yeah? Mm. How did we meet? No, no, we know how we met, but it's... On a TV show. Okay, <laughs> no. What do you love most? What do you love most No, about I'm him? asking you the question. Okay. What do you love most about Jamie? I like his hands. That's it? Oh, yeah, I really like your hands. The thing that you love most about Oh, sorry, about okay, let me again. I like his skin. I do. I'm what? sorry. I'm being truthful. That's not my... humour, not love. You make not... me laugh. No, you I don't want to tee you up. I don't want to tee you well, up. Well, then I told you it's your skin on your back specifically. My skin okay, on my back. Okay, let me do it again. Ask again. What is your favourite thing about Jamie? My favourite thing about Jamie is he constantly makes me laugh. That's true. That is very sweet. Okay, let me do it to you. Okay. How did you and Sophie meet? We know that. I, I mean, know, I don't. Just go, role play. No, it's just go for it for God's sake. Okay, we met on. We did a TV show, and we met on the TV show, and okay. we then fell in love in South no, Africa. No, that was just one question. Oh, okay. What's your favorite thing about Sophie? Oh, and how long have you been together? Five years. Do you love her? Oh, immensely. And what's your favorite thing about her? Um, I like. I love her lips. I would rip those off and wear them as a necklace. I really would. Oh, that's if so you died, if you died, I I would taxidermy you. What and hang me on your wall? <laughs> I would just no. I would do this. I would I would if you ever died and God forbid because I don't know what I I don't think I would live on. You constantly me. tell me about this, so clearly you're thinking about me dying no, a lot. But if you did die, I would stuff you, taxidermy you, stuff you, and then put you in the bathroom. So whenever anyone came in, <laughs> you would just scare them. <laughs> I'd put you like this. In the bathroom, so you'd scare you're them. Fucking weird. Or like this, That's with your two fingers together, I'd put loo roll on your fingers. Okay, none of <laughs> this. Then you get the loo roll. None of hand. this is funny, it's just so weird. That's what I would do. Okay, I would um, stuff you yeah. and chop your body. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? I would chop your top off and chop your legs off and just have your bum stuffed <laughs> and put it on the wall. <laughs> You know those like the new bars that are like bums. That's like Jamie's real bum. Like no, I've never seen a bum like it. And I would just mo oh, I just mold all my bars that's around my house of your bum, and then I'd have the real bum stuffed on the wall. Hang on, uh, God, weird. Okay, um, 
Do you mind me? Those love stories were amazing. Oh, do you oh you're so me welcome. Me. There is actually one more. Oh my God, play it. If you want to hear. Yeah, I definitely want to hear it. It's a little bit different though. Bit okay, different let's tone. hear it. You ready? I have no one to love. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but I am here on my own. I'm not in a couple. Um, and I haven't met anyone. I mean, I haven't met anyone this year because it's still January. But I do have a feeling about 2024 will be the year I fall in love. And I think it will be in spring, which starts on the 21st of March. So from the 21st of March onwards, watch out, everyone. Um, but yeah, no, not in a couple, but having a lovely time on the cruise anyway. Jemima, that's you. No, it's not. That is, are you kidding me? So, sorry, that's the, the sweetest <laughs> slash saddest little message it's I've not ever... It's sad. You're, you're, you're going to fall in love. On the 21st of March. That's round the corner. Yeah. But could it be before then? Mm, what What do you mean? I, I, look, I, you're great. We love you. We, you're the one of the greatest people we know. Um, I think we should try and find you love on the boat. Really? I actually do. Because if you're doing, do I, if you're doing messages like that, just to do a recording, because you thought it was going to be good for the podcast, and <laughs> I feel like you're wanting to find love. Can we go and find you a date? Okay. Is yeah. that, uh, can we actually can do that? Actually, because that would make me the happiest person ever. And also, I really feel like this is, like, th there's 5,000 people on You would actually go on a date with someone. Though. You would go on a date with someone. If you can find me someone to go on a date. Okay, do you have any criteria? Must be taller than me. Okay, that's one thing. Must be taller. Anything else? Um, <laughs> quite like a big nose. So, okay, so. <laughs> okay. Big nose, taller than you. Anything else? Um, that's it. That is big it. Big nose. Big nose and <laughs> so taller than you. I'll look for a tall, big nose bloke. And off I go. And also <laughs> single. Okay. There's okay, a lot of couples, a yeah. lot of couples. So it's a bit of a challenge. All right. Said, oh if God. you think you can, I'll okay. do it. Challenge I'll, accepted. Our producer Jemima is single. We are going to go and find her a date on this cruise. And then you're going to go on a date with them. Yeah, this I want to get involved. Fantastic. This okay, this is amazing. I absolutely love this. All right. Everybody, it's time for my favourite part of the episode, which is... Listeners' messages. As always, guys, I want to say a big thank you for always sending in your listeners' messages. I read all of them, and they're just I amazing. I read all of them. I don't like that I. It's Get out of here. Get you out can't of even read, them. sister. Can't even read. You're dyslexic. I'm not. Okay, baby. Okay, right. Thank you for so much for sending in your listeners' messages. We absolutely love them. Um, okay, I have one to share with you. You ready for this? Okay, yeah, please go. Hi, Jamie and Sophie. I want to share my story with you both. This is going back 15 years ago when me and my family were on, oli were on holiday in Papos, Cy Cyprus. Mm. The specific night we were on a beach as the hotel were doing a beach party. There were fire breathers, bar belly dancers and music. As the night went on, I suddenly started getting poo pains. I sat bearing the pain for a while until I realised I couldn't hold it any longer. From the beach, I had to run up the stairs to get to the hotel toilet as fast as I could, oh, but could only make it to the lobby of the hotel, and it happened. I pooed myself. Mm. There was no one around, but it went all over the floor. Oh, my God. I you are joking. I made it into the toilet cubicle where, cubicle where I tried to clean myself the best I could. What? While I was in the toilet, I heard someone enter. I came out of the cubicle, and to my horror, one of the belly dancers that was at the beach party was cleaning her feet in the sink because she has stepped in my I just stepped can't I actually, because she has I'm stepped sorry, I in my I'm poo done. no I just I'm so she was actual. cleaning her feet I would punch that woman she gave <laughs> me a filthy look and I said whoever's done that is disgusting <laughs> I didn't know what to say so I just quickly walked out giggling to myself to make things worse I then jumped into the children's pool to clean myself off properly no, I'm unsure. I'm really unsure. What are you looking at me like, you grubby old man? Right. I can't. Okay, uh, give it okay. to me, honey. Give it to me. Okay, I've got a bit of a dilemma that I wanted your advice on. I've bought the ring that I'm going to use to propose my wonderful girlfriend for four years. I've had it planned for a while and we are off on holiday in June, which is the perfect opportunity to do it and how I've always thought about doing it. The issue is I'm so impatient and it's hard keeping it a secret alongside hiding the goods. 
I've got approval from her dad already and the excitement is hard to contain. Love this. So here's the question. Do I wait until the holiday for the perfect time if I pull it off or go for another time? Is there ever a perfect time? I think go now. 100%. I would say there's no perfect time ever. Just go now. Just freaking go for it. You just, she wants it. You want to go for it. (laughs) (laughs) Go for it, honey. I do. I think there's no perfect time and I don't think people should worry too much about finding that moment such a, you'll be so like heightened and like the anticipation will be so much you'll almost probably feel really nervous on the day when you get there by the time just go now one million percent i agree with like you on walk that. down the road oh pop down on that knee honey i love all this yeah same it's fantastic it's unbelievable just go for it there's no perfect time that's the best thing in the world to do you know that i really like the love stories mm. okay well we have another love story from hannah i love I love love stories. Last year, I went solo traveling around Southeast Asia. For the first time in my life, I was so happy and content with being single. For a bit of context, I had a couple of relationships before, but none which stuck or felt like forever things. I was in Thailand and my visa was running out, so I jumped on a flight over to Cambodia, and I was recommended to visit a little town called Kampot, which I'd never heard of. But I had a couple of days spare, so decided to take the trip there. After a very bumpy bus journey, I arrived and collapsed next to the pool. I got chatting to the girl next to me, and we became friends quickly and spent the day together. She told me that she had a friend who was staying in another hostel, and she invited me to come on a tour with them both the following day. The next day, bright and early, I was eating my breakfast, waiting for the tour, and that's when I saw my new friend walk in. And next to her was my gorgeous Maisie. As soon as I saw Maisie, I felt something. I didn't know what, but I did know I was completely drawn to her. I spent the day following her around, trying my best to make her smile and laugh as much as possible. We spent the next two days laughing, competing in pool races and drinking rather a lot. We also had the crazy realisation that we were down the road from one another and she lived round the corner from my gran. Oh. I left to go back to Thailand, but nothing had happened between us, and I guess that would be the end of that. I was absolutely gutted. A week passed and she messaged me, saying that she was in Chiang Mai, which is where I was. I was so, so nervous to see her again because I didn't know if my feelings were reciprocated. We went out for some drinks and one thing led to another and she came back to mine. She then didn't leave for ten days. It's been nine months since then and six months since she asked me to be her girlfriend in the middle of London Pride. And I could not be happier. Oh God, I love these stories so much. We are now both working long hours and warehouses to save up for the next trip and we have no plans to stop travelling anytime soon. But this time it won't be solo, it'll be together. It's amazing. Maisie, you've changed my (gasps) life in the best way possible. I've never known love like this and you best believe I'm never letting go. Maybe it all takes a little journey across the other side of the world and a bit of help from Butterfly Effect to find the love of your life. Lots of love, Hannah. Hannah and Maisie, I can't cope. It's just amazing. It's just stunning. This is w- love. Life. We're really in a bubble of love. Oh, I've got one. Life is about love. And do you know what's so amazing, honey, is that it's so true. Sometimes the greatest things are literally just around the corner. And you just got to keep going. Yeah. Go to the other side of the world. Keep going. If it's love that you want to find, it's just around the corner. You never know. You just wake up one day and it's a normal day and then that's the person. And it happens. So keep going. Be persistent. Put one step in front of the other. One foot in front Please of the other. Just keep them, going. Keep going. Because it's always plod, around plod, the corner. Plod. I promise you. Okay, ready? Yeah. In November 2019, I was working as an entertainer for a cruise company. My team was made up of four people, two boys and two girls, including me. Myself Mm. and one of the boys hit it off right away. We got on really well and spent every spare moment we could together. We had to do this in secret though, as gossip spreads like wildfire in that community. The only issue was I was at the start of my contract and he was at the end of his. He was going to have to leave just five weeks after I joined. I was devastated when the time came for him to leave as this was my first, very first love. I spent days crying and wondering if I'd ever see him again. Then, just two weeks after that, a member of staff on the cruise left and we were one staff member down during the busiest time of Christmas and New Year. We needed someone fast, so they asked the boy I'd fallen for to return. I was beaming. He returned for another month, but then it was time to say goodbye again. 
After he left, our ship traveled around Mexico and the Caribbean. So while I was working on the cruise, he decided to backpack around Mexico and visit me once a week before he booked to cruise as a passenger for two weeks at the end of his vacation before he was due to start his next contract. But the time went quite quickly and it was time to say goodbye forever again. Just a week later, the world started to shut down due to COVID, which kept us apart. But then in June 2020, when the restrictions began to lift, he moved to the UK with me. After saying goodbye forever three times, we have now been together for four years and we are getting married next year on board a cruise ship with all of our family and friends around us. This is fantastic. Cruises. They really Cruise, bring baby. Up, they bring everyone together. All right, everybody. Okay, listen, thank you so much for sending in your wonderful uh, messages. We love them so much. Please keep sending in stories of poo. I love them. No, please keep sending the love stories. They make me beam from ear to ear. Send them into newlyweds.jampopproductions.co.uk. That's newlyweds.jampopproductions.co.uk. Or you can sign into our DMs at newlyweds podcast. podcast. That's okay. the end of listeners' messages. Something's really upset me recently. What? It's really upset me. What? What? I need. To, I really okay, would. someone told me, and I can't get it out of my mind. We were talking about our favorite fruit, and I said, My favorite fruit is banana. And they said, Oh, you like banana? And I went, yeah. And they said, doesn't it remind you when you're eating it, like oh. biting into poo? I feel so unwell. Because of the texture. I feel so, well, I would think it would be more so because of this, the shape. Next time, oh! next time you eat a banana. I will never eat, everyone eat, Everyone listening to this eating banana has just spat their banana out. It's next, on the floor. Next time you eat a banana, bananas, just close your eyes floor. and eat it and, ma- and, and you'll why think it's you, poo. Why would anyone do that? I don't know. It's horrible. Hey, by the way, what's great about the cruise also um, is there are so many things to do, which is we can I can go and play a little bit of putt putt golf. We can go to the cinema. Oh yeah, we, I can go get a massage. Her we've had our nails, couples everything. massage, which is amazing. We can go and get your nails done. We can go to restaurants. I can go and do high ropes, which by the way was incredible. There were just so many things to do. So many. One thing I really want to do is I want to meet the captain. I hear about him. I hear him on there. See pictures of him. I really want to go meet him. What's his name? Captain Camby. Captain Camby. Yeah. Captain Camby. You want to meet the captain? I want to go meet the captain. Well, um, honey, we have a little surprise for you. I didn't want to didn't want to get you too excited because I knew you wanted to meet the captain. What's the surprise? I know you have a thing for men in suits. In uniform, you mean? In uniform. I, I don't. So please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the podcast. The captain. Hello, Very how nice are you? Nice, nice to see you. Nice, nice to see you. Congratulations you. on your wedding. Thank, Thank you so you. much. It was a bit, so I had a um before I, okay I had a rumor. Tell me if this is true that apparently because you're captain that means you can then marry people on the ship. Uh, we do have a wedding license. Um, that is true. We can't marry people just yet on this ship because uh-huh. of the flag, but uh, hopefully in the near future we will be able to. But in the past I've done. Yeah, ten, wo- 10 weddings at uh, a uh, cruise. I've probably married over 200 couples in my time. Get out of here. Yeah. I don't know if any of them are still together, but... Uh, hey, did you really? <laughs> so, because what the thing is, like, you must be, you're like the celebrity on the boat. Because I see when people walk past, when you walk past, people, honestly, where's what you're You would, you'd get 15 minutes of fame, wouldn't you, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but only for that period of time. But then they don't see you, they see the position. Mm-hmm. Um, so you've, you've got to be quite... You're conscious of that all the time. People want to have photos with you. They want to talk to you, things like that. But if I was to walk past in civvies, they wouldn't give you a second thought. But you also, how do you keep the outfit so white? <laughs> Good laundry. Good laundry <laughs> is team. Is that what it is? That's, uh, it's a great laundry team. No, it's a great laundry team. We've got phenol- I go down there quite a lot. That's an operation which is eye-watering. When you think about we change sheets or, or how many, it's in the Caribbean, how many deck towels. Because the passengers will use maybe, t- an average passenger person will use two deck towels. So you're probably looking at 10,000 deck towels, and then they all the down and they go every day. And they have to be washed, cleaned, That is folded. an operation. Yeah, so we have automatic machines that even fold them and stuff like that and stack them and then there's the next ones going out. So it, it never ends, it never rests. And the bigger the ship and the bigger the operation, it's the same place. Do you know, what, th- that's what you don't realise about things like this. You come, you just do it, the food's great, everything's mm. there. The, mm. you, I did a little dance thing upstairs. Everything is just like run like clockwork all the time. The, and you know, even uh, when we went to our room, we had this lovely gentleman who came up and said, right, do you need anything? Do you want uh, Do you mm. want me to do anything? This is how you 
you leave your room, maybe say you're out. Yeah, the surface out. is amazing. Yeah, and then I woke up this morning and you go out onto your balcony and you're at sea and I saw the sunrise. Yeah, probably with a cup of coffee. I did. The only problem is I was going to, I said this before, I was going to walk out naked. <laughs> and, and I was like, no, no. And I, I didn't, and I, I honestly about it, I didn't realise that there were people above me, they would see me completely naked. But I, I, when you look at the whole thing, the value for money is unbelievable. It, it is, it is an incredible holiday experience. And, and even for me, I used to go cruising as a child and, and, and I, you know, I saw it from a child's perspective. Now I see it from an adult and from the inside as well, looking into it. And you think, my God, where, where in the world can you go? where you could get all of this. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. For the cost that you get it for. And, and, it's for. and if you don't like something, I mean, if you were to sit down here or you order a meal and say, actually, you know what, I'm, I didn't really like that, the waiter will come and can I get something else? We just want to make sure you have a great holiday. And yeah. we will do everything we can to make sure you have a great holiday. And, and then when you're in here, you, you feel like you're in this, re you could be in a restaurant in London here, right? And then you walk out and then suddenly there's an entertainment happening in the, in the atrium and then you can go into a shop or then you can go and sit in a bar and have a drink that you may never have ever had before because the bartender will explain the whole thing to you you know we've got time we've got yeah the passengers are sort of in a position where they they just relax and then and you wake up a new spot every day and, that's and every time you wake up thing. something that's different something out the window and yeah. I, had, I had i had also this is knowledge from you going to impress me that you now run on liquid natural gas we do that's unreal. Okay, if you said to anyone, hey, I'm thinking about going on a cruise, and they and you, what would you say to them? This is why you should do it. What is the reason everyone should go and try out a cruise and go and do it? One, value for money. Yeah. Um, pack once. Mm hmm True. Um, the the cultural things that you will see, you, you'll you'll leave the the ship with education, and I think if you are coming on board a ship like this with a family of four, the wife's got her interests, the husband's got their interests, and the, they they want to spend some time with their family, but also they want to spend some time their own doing the things they want to do you can all go and spin up and do whatever you like knowing that you are in the safety and protection of the ship plus we will dip you into places you're the greatest salesman i've ever met <laughs> <laughs> you honestly but, that, but that's what cruising does that we dip you we dip, we dip you unbelievable we dip you into places but we bring you back yes, i'm in i'm in yeah. you're sold. Oh, I, I, I am in. too but the, the mediterranean is, is even better for it the mediterranean is, is even better for it um last thing i want to ask and this is a big favor you do an announcement every evening just before six o'clock. You, you dress the whole ship. Can I do that once? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but I really think they want to hear from me. <laughs> there's no chance. Uh, no, I, I do it because it, it's, a, again, it's, I'm one person and there's sort of five and a half thousand people on board. And so I like to walk around the ship. I do a lot of walking around the ship, but it doesn't matter how many times I walk around the ship. I would probably only see 20 or 30% of the guests, potentially. Mm. And so there'll be some people who say, well, I never saw the captain. And so I always say, well, you might not see me, but you will 100% hear from me every single day at this time. I cannot, so just, <laughs> just so I understand, there's a little chance that I can. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's little to nothing, but it's, 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 it's there. there's still a chance. <laughs> so still a chance. Don't worry, I won't allow this to happen. Yeah, I, come no, on. No, 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 no. Married? Yep. yep. Does your partner prefer you wearing the suit or without the suit? Because <laughs> <laughs> I think if I had a captain suit, I'd wear that all the time. Well, I, I, married, I married the perfect girl, right? So, in my eyes. So, she was a singer on Oriana. She was one of the headliner front Get singers. Get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is amazing. Yeah, yeah. And I was my first trip as captain in 2011. Oh, well, my yeah. God, that's such a lovely um, story. So, yeah, we met, we became friends. Um, she was like, oh, I'm not sure, you know, in terms of back to the captain type of thing. And she told her mother, and mother was like, oh, the captain. I told my mother, and my mother was like, oh, and a singer, oh, Dan, oh, what are you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing? So we kind of became friends yeah. for a bit, and um, and then it kind of kind of developed from there. So if you had a question, can she drive the ship? Is that, well, I said, <laughs> I said you can't. I said you can't. Well, we definitely, you can definitely come up on the bridge. We'll, we'll, can we, we'll, we we'll do that? We'll take you up, we'll take you up at some point, yeah. That's very kind. Gotcha. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. I appreciate it. That was amazing. Thank that you. was fantastic. That was so great. Captain, wow, he's impressive. I tell you what, this is, I'm having the greatest time with you. I'm having the greatest time with I, you. The fact that we, I get to just do adventures oh, with you, honey. Oh, babe. No, I want to be a bit loving no, for a second. I'm going to be a bit loving. On over. We, no. got, we got married and we had the greatest time. We're we now got married, we're on a cruise. We're and what else are we going to do whilst we're I don't know why cruise? you keep saying we're on a cruise. Yeah, because that little girl, there's a meme that goes around and she's like, I just wish I could go on a cruise. Anyway, it's been the most um, exciting little episode. However, 
what is even more exciting is that we're next episode we're still going to be on the cruise because we recorded two episodes while on it which is amazing and so many things happened next episode it's going to be unbelievable of what went on so don't and, go anywhere and also we're going to find out next episode if jemima producer are you there I am. Um, we're going to find out if we go and find you a date and then we're going to put you on that date with someone and hopefully you're going to fall in love on the ship. Yeah, fall in love on the ship. I want to be one of those love stories. Okay, so next episode we're going to find out if producer Jemima fell in love on the ship. So stay around for that. Okay, we love you guys. Listen, please keep sending in all of your listeners' messages. Crazy, silly, fun, exciting, whatever they may be. Wilder, the better. We want to hear from them. Ask your friends. Also, um, remember that we love you. We That's love it. you guys. And if you're getting married... Good luck! If you're getting divorced. Oh, If shame. you're getting engaged. Oh, that's exciting. And if you're single. Oh, my God. Do you know what? Be Jemima and just spread your wings, go on a cruise solo, and find the love of your life because they're we round the corner. We love you. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. <laughs>